Hi guys, so we have to do an earth model and we have to answer a few questions and we just, we were drawing um, on Google Drawing and this is supposed to be the earth guys. I actually was one of the people who hand drew it and said good pictures from the lab. So I tried to draw the earth. This is kind of just something I hope I wanted the inside over here to be really, or to be green and have little dots of red, but or green, blue for water, but it was really hard, so pretend this is that. So then we, I did the earth's core because I thought, well that would be kind of cool and it's kind of easy, and I could answer some questions. So, earth's model, which, so, which is the closest um, for the earth's model? Honestly, I would either say other or ball, because actually, if I chose this, it would be better because the... A ball is, did you guys know that the earth is not spherical? It actually has a little bit of an oval shape. Because of the equator spreading out when it spins, then it all happens and it goes everywhere. And it spreads out a little because of when it's spinning in the equator. So it makes it a little more oval, oval shape. As you can see, mine is not a perfect circle. Mine is more of an oval. Then the next question, oh sorry, this is is the earth and what it looks like. Oh, sorry. Once you've created um, the earth and what it looks like. So the earth, I can already explain that it's not a perfect sphere. It is an oval. And also this is the earth's core. I didn't label it, but I know that there are three layers, or like three. The point of view of the drawing. And the, okay, so the point of view of my drawing is actually if you were technically right above the earth and if you were looking down at North America. So North America is, I tried to draw, draw it, I didn't get the pictures on the web, I tried to draw it. And then I did two points of view. This is like the inside, so if you were inside here, sorry, let me move this because it's a little so if you were inside of the earth or whatever, if this is the earth's core. So, but then, but then, okay, so that's that. And then the next question is the point of view of the limitations of the so I basically tried, so oh, from the point of view, did you draw your model? For example, did you imagine that you were on a plane? I imagined that I was on a plane, but this one, I was imagining I was right above America, flying over to, well, from Asia to Hawaii. I was pretending that I was just trying to see, and then I get, got to see. And this is like the only place where there's light, so I kind of decided to do it. Well, like, this is where there's so much, I feel like, going on, and there's so many earth things, and there's, we're so lucky, or like, they have tons of stuff there, here. And I just really wanted to draw North America, because I know it's just, I know that it's like, really, honestly, I just wanted to be able to see that I was above and I, I was looking down at something. Even though I couldn't get it perfect, I was pretty happy. But for this one, I pretended like I was inside the earth. Maybe like watching a movie or something about the inside of an earth. Or if I was just like wanting to really check out and see what it was. So the next question. Sorry, one second. I did it. Oh, sorry. So the next question is, so the next question is, the earth looks like my model because, well, honestly, I don't think my model is perfect at all. We had very little time and it was very hard because I had to help other people as well. But I think my model looks, my model looks like the earth because, and honestly, if I could make this green, which I really wanted to, but it was really hard to. So if this was green, I know it would look so much like the earth. Because I know that it's very interesting because I know this is about what it looks like. Florida, Texas, like all the states here. Let me start something up. Um, North America. So I actually searched this up and I said that. So, and there's all these pictures, so it's like, I tried to basically go off of them, and I did only North America, so I kind of did, like, so let me kind of, 
So, basically, here, this has the other states. So, I think it's called just to the earth shape. Oh, no, I don't that one. Okay, sorry. So, I have, like, all these states, like, um, New York, and Washington, no, wait, and all these other states, and, um, and then I have Minnesota with the little spikes, because I know that state very well, and then I have Florida, Florida, this is me. Um, like New York and all those other states, Maine, and then there's Minnesota, and then there's Texas. I know Texas is Mexico. No, no. Yeah, Texas. Oh wait, no. So yeah, and I the next question is the experience that led me to this location. Sorry, the next, so the next thing is um, the, that, the experience that led me to this art. So I knew a little, I knew about the Earth because we've been learning, and we knew about how the Earth got bigger, and then all the globes that I always see about all the continents, and all these pictures, and all these wonderful, beautiful things about dates and other things. Oh yeah, you can do so many things. That you, that you can really do so many things. So how would I describe a model? I would honestly say very life-wise because it really shows you so many things and that you really would never know. If you didn't know like what the earth looked like and where in Asia was, this shows you, it tells you so many good facts and so many things of that you can do. So then I have a question, how would you, wait, no, we might use models and signs. So how would I use a model and signs? I would probably say, well, honestly, to, but I would probably music when I'm wondering something, especially about the earth and, well, the world, because there are so many, we have three globes, and it, we can really look at all of them and really see about all of them and see where everything is, and then honestly just pictures on the web, or on the, like, on the internet, because you can learn so much. Like, I, you can learn where all the states are from just one picture. You can learn, so, So you can learn so much about the Earth's quick by looking at a picture, looking at anything, posters, maps, anything. And then and then uh, you can learn what they're all called and how everything works and how all the layers and by just looking up something. And, I mean, it's really fascinating. And then, what are some examples of the models? So, we have a ton in our classroom. So, here's one. Just a picture. Here's one. A picture. Here's one. A map. Here's one. A globe. Globe. Globes. You can just look at them and find so many things. The globes. And then... So that's it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry that my it wasn't perfect. We didn't have that much.